Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is an example of lateral epicondylitis. This is tennis elbow, and people get this when they use a backhand in tennis, and there's distractive forces on the common extensor tendon where it attaches to the bone. So this is a very mild case of this, and this is the humerus up top here, the bone of the distal arm. This is the elbow joint. Now below the elbow joint, we see two bones. We see the radius, which is this bone right here, comes down. We also see another bigger bone called the ulna back here. And the very back of the ulna, this is the back of the elbow right here, called the olecranon, just to get oriented. So now we're gonna go back to the middle cut. We have the inner side of the elbow joint. This is where the body would be. And over here is the outside of the elbow joint. And the common extensor tendon is on the outside. And if we follow this gray muscle, all this gray is muscle, we're gonna follow the gray muscle up, 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 and it all comes together to a common extensor tendon, which is right here, and it attaches on this bone. This is, again, the humerus, and this little protrusion, this pokeouty part here, is the lateral epicondyle. So right at the lateral epicondyle, there's a little gray area. Normally, this is really dark and black. A healthy tendon should be nice and black. You know, all that muscle comes together to a a black tendon, and this one is just a little bit gray. So this is an indication of low-grade inflammation, or what we call lateral epicondylitis. Now this is another view where things are different. The bone is dark, and the subcutaneous fat is dark. The muscles are gray on this, and now we can see some better soft tissue contrast. This dark band coming up is part of that common extensor tendon, and right here there's a vertical band of brightness. This is a little bit of fluid signal or, or bright um, T2 signal, we call that. And it indicates a little bit of fluid or edema within the tendon. So the tendon is irritated, a little bit puffy, and has a little bit of fluid signal, reactive fluid in it. And again, this is what we call lateral epicondylitis. And this will cause localized pain over there and with certain movements it'll really hurt. And uh, sometimes I've heard people can dry needle this to help it. Um, other times, if you just let it rest, and uh, give some anti-inflammatories that so can heal on its own. So luckily this is a, a minor finding that can uh, go back to heal 100%. And again, it's called lateral epicondylitis. Now the same thing can happen on the inner side. We call that medial epicondylitis when it happens over here on the inner side. So thank you very much and hope you have a great day.